Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today for your delightful viewing? Well, I'll tell you exactly. Some people will look at the clip, you'll know straight away we've got an absolutely gorgeous, handsome Conway Stewart Executive 60 fountain pen. Now, this pen, the Conway Stewart Executive 60, um, it's from the era of around about the late 1940s, early 1950s and the executive 60s and the 60s were, if you like, one of the top of the range of fountain pens within that particular period for Conway Stewart. Now, this model they made in numerous different colours. As you can see, this one is this stunning classic black colour. They made them in different sorts of marbling colours. They also brought them out in some very sought after colours, i.e. like the cracked eyes, the uh, tiger eye, the hatch patterns, um, herring, herringbone patterns, etc, etc. So they are, this particular model, the, the 60s, um, they are very sought after and collectible fountain pens in their own right, which Again, very understandable. The size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, around about 130 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice chunky 12 millimeters in diameter. Now, as you can see, it comes in this gorgeous classic black with gold filled or gold plated trim. Now, you can see it's a lever fountain pen there. You can see it's got the Conway Stewart logo to the very end of the lever there. If we take you up to the to the cap, you'll see it's got this quite a large broad cap band. And as we mentioned earlier, the very recognizable Conway Stewart diamond clip with the Conway Stewart logo to the very top of the clip. And to the top of the cap, you can see on these pens, they have this aluminium peat stud, which sort of complements the peat sort of end of the barrel there. Now, let's show you the barrel imprint on the pen. You'll see it says Conway Stewart, and then underneath it has Executive 60. Again, let's show you maybe a different angle, which sometimes makes it a little bit clearer. So we've got a Conway Stewart, and then underneath we have Executive 60. On this pen, you'll see just above my thumb there, it has, sort of going round the barrel, it has Made in England. So, it's a Conway Stewart made in England, as we said, around about late 1940s, 1950s. Superb condition, fully restored, new sack, etc. One of the top of the range of fountain pens that were available of that particular period. So, let's give you the customary twirl of the pens. An absolutely gorgeous and handsome fountain pen. Very comfortable to hold, a nice size. It's quite broad, as we said, with a 12, 12 millimeters in diameter. The section, nice and comfortable to hold. So let's show you the section there. You can see it's got the section which slightly tapers towards the nib with this sort of ridge at the end. And then the nice thing about these pens, if I show you the the nib there, let's keep it nice and still. The top end um, Conway Stewart fountain pens, most of them had a Duro nib. So this one's the Duro Conway Stewart 14 karat gold, gold nib. To the very bottom, which you can't see because it's hidden by, uh, by the section inside, it has the number 60, which is the correct nib. For this pen as you can see all nice and clean let's give you a sideways view there you go let's show you the feed underneath again you can see everything has been cleaned 
So we've got a lovely, quite unassuming, quite a plain Conway Stewart feed underneath. As I said, all in all, these are very collectible, very sought after and very handsome pens in my opinion. Now, okay, without you people shouting at me, we're not going to uh, fill the pen as I said or as I tend to do now with my videos. I'm not going to fill them because um, most of these pens are available, they're looking for new homes and some people do prefer to use them which is terrific because that's what they're designed to do. Some people do prefer to put them into their collection and to simply display them which again in my opinion is totally totally fine. So let's get the ink to one side, dip the nib in the ink and let's see how the pen writes. So Conway Stewart, um, forgot how you spell it, Executive 60 Fountain Pen, in classic black, And as you'd expect, let's just dip it again. Lovely, lovely writer. Is there any flex in the nib? I would say not. Although saying that, as you'd expect from this nib, the Joro top of the range nibs beautiful beautiful writer nice and smooth there you go I would say writing with I would say a medium line no variation it's not a um, or they're not renowned for having flexibility the Joro nibs but a lovely lovely writer so let's pop that to one side let's pop the cap back on and there we have it, a gorgeous, very handsome Conway Stewart Executive 60 from, I'd say, 1940s, early 1950s. These pens, very collectible, very sought after in their own right, which, again, very understandable. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this gorgeous pen. As much as I enjoy showing them to you people, don't forget, leave a comment below. Don't be shy. And why not subscribe to the channel as well while you're here. And if you possibly can, if you can support, then that would be appreciated. But for now, I'm just going to say bye-bye for now.